and thanks for stopping by. Today we'll be discussing why I switched to Arch from Debian. Now for those of you who have been following the channel, you'll know that I was a Debian user. I had been a Debian user for six months, and I loved my experience on Debian, and I would still recommend it to people. But the issue that I came across was when I started live streaming. I noticed that I needed a more up-to-date version of OBS, simply because I really needed custom browser docs, and it wasn't allowing me to make custom browser docs. And Flatpak just wasn't going to cut it, because one, I don't like flat packs and two when I tried the flat pack version it just kept crashing on me so that was a no-go so my only other option was to build from source and I built from source but then also read somewhere don't break Debian and that got me kind of concerned because what I had done is something that could essentially break Debian which was installing something that could be considered Debian SID or Debian testing into Debian stable and I didn't want to break Debian that way so I figured I would just upgrade to Debian SID. So I upgraded to Debian SID and I had to fix a bunch of errors and I fixed most of them. I fixed every one of them having to deal with OBS. I fixed all of them dealing with other various packages but the one I could not figure out was Wine. Wine would not install for some reason. It was dependent upon two packages and those two packages depended upon each other. Don't ask me how that happens. I don't know but I tried to fix it and it wouldn't let me fix it so because I couldn't install wine I had to stop using Debian because while although I got OBS to work it came at the cost of getting wine to work and thus I moved so why exactly did I switch to Arch well Debian SID did not have everything I needed Debian SID does not maintain security like stable does even though they do maintain some security it's just not done by the Debian team themselves and my choices were either stay with Debian or go to Arch and the only package managers I'm comfortable with is Debian's or Arch's so let's go into why I chose Arch. Well, for one, it is a rolling release, meaning that I don't have to upgrade to the newest version of a distribution. For example, Debian is on Debian 12, and in less than two years from now, it will be on Debian 13. I don't want to make that manual change. Thus, I'm going with a rolling release because I want it to update every time I update my system. I also chose Arch because my packages are the most up to date, meaning that my OBS is going to be at the latest. And because of the OBS that I chose, because there was more than one to choose from, allows me to use custom browser docs. All the packages I could ever want is in Arch. Like if it's not in the original repo, I could just go to the AUR. But be careful with using stuff from the AUR, because the AUR stands for Arch User Repository, which means that it's maintained by the users, and you don't know what you could get from using a package there which means that you have to trust whatever package that you get on there and you have to trust in it with a hundred percent confidence that that package is a good package I also love tinkering with technology I'm a tinkerer at heart I love coding and I love fixing problems specifically with my technology and I just love being minimal I wanted a minimal install and the only way to really truly get a minimal install is to install a minimal version of Debian or go with a minimal installation of Arch everyone else is just kind of a hit or a miss and I'm also not familiar with their package managers but I also don't want to go with a based distribution I want it to be the original distribution now you're probably thinking would I still recommend Debian to people and I would say yes I still would recommend Debian to people just like I would recommend Arch to people and some of the other distributions that I've covered on this channel but just like I did with Debian I'm gonna do this with Arch I'm gonna let you know some reasons why you wouldn't go with Arch the first reason being that it's not as stable meaning that things can break and if you're not a tinkerer and you don't want to solve problems with your system it's not gonna be a good system for you because you have to fix everything which goes into my second point I also wouldn't go with arch because it is for the tinkerer meaning that if you don't like to tinker with things it might not be best suited for you because you're probably gonna want something that just works and something that just works would be something like Linux Mint or pop OS you also have to make regular updates meaning that if you don't update for so long you could possibly risk running into some dependency issues where you have to go and fix all the broken packages and the biggest reason I wouldn't go with Arch is because you need to be prepared to use the terminal more, but you also need to be prepared to build more sometimes. And what I mean by this is that sometimes you need to build packages because they're not available elsewhere, or they include some stuff that's really handy for you. A good example would be PyCom. You would need to learn how to build PyCom as an example. But yeah, I'm now on Arch. No more Debian for now, although I would still review it and play around with it. And now I can say I use Arch, by the way, because I installed it the legitimate way. I actually didn't even use the Arch install 
install script. Though after watching DistroTube's video, I'll be using the Arch install script from here on out. Not because he didn't do a good job of telling me how to do it, but just because there's a lot to it and I want it more automated. I don't want to have to go through that each and every time. But other than that, I didn't really have any problems installing it. I was just more nervous about breaking something and having to do it all over again. And with that, we have come full circle. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe and I shall see you guys in the next video.